All right, potties, you're making a difference because of you and the people that listen to the show on Way FM terrestrially, if you want to call it that. We have sent over 47,000 meals to the people that are struggling in Ukraine after they've been displaced because of the war. That is pretty stinking amazing. And I love the fact that you're getting to partner with us in ministry right now in a very tangible way. You're not only helping feed people, but you're also making sure that they get the gospel as well. So thank you so much. So, so much. But sadly, as the war stretches on, the need is still there and becoming greater. Here's the great news, though. It only takes 25 cents to send one meal. So for about the cost of a dinner out for you and your family, you could make sure that a couple hundred meals are sent to Ukrainian refugee families. Can you imagine what a relief that is for moms who have no idea how they're going to feed their kids from day to day? This is truly ministering to the orphans and widows, like the Bible says in James. And we'd love to keep that going and send another 20. 5,000 meals to Ukraine in just the next couple weeks. I'm in. I'll never ask you to do something I'm not willing to do myself. So if you want to help out, just text the word WALLY to 91999. And again, thank you so much for even considering this. And let's make a difference. Let's do something huge today. Again, text the word WALLY to 91999. Welcome to the Wally Show Aftercast. Those things we did not get to during the course of the show today. And so uh, we have a short week next week. Just the heads up, we will not have a podcast or aftercast on Monday as we are all going to be off for the 4th of July. Betty Rock is going to be on a boat, yo, uh, mm-hmm. with some friends. Is this the same group of friends that you went out on a boat last time with? Yes. Like, I think it was, was it last year this mm-hmm. time? Was it kayaking last year? Or did no, you actually... I did do kayaking too, but this, that was, oh. that was earlier okay. in the year. Um, but no, last July 4th, we did this too. Do you nice. like boating? Like, is it something you enjoy or you just kind of go because you like the people? Uh, I just go because I like the people. Okay. So, because boating is one of those things. It's either, you either love it or you're like, eh, on it. Like, because it's, it's, you're hot. It's, it, you know, if you right. don't like to swim, right. you know, do right. you swim? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I prefer more like fishing. <laughs> oh, do you really? Yeah, I'm more with that than I would really? be with just lounging. But do you bait your own hooks? Uh, worms? Yes. Yeah. Crickets? Re- yes. Really? If, I, if I'm gonna do frogs, no. Oh, you fish with Who frogs? Uses? No. Well, some people do. Oh, oh yeah. What about if you fish with another fish, like where you put the <laughs> oh, thing through its sad. spine? No, if it's yeah, you know, if it's gone, it's gone. Oh. Uh. Well, no, if it's a live one, I just don't feel sorry for worms or grasshoppers. Sure. They're nasty. I get that. That's that 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 all checks out actually. Uh, like I I like boating and I like the water, but I like my wife doesn't. My wife when we go like on a pontoon boat because uh, our our best friends Molly loves the water, but Greg doesn't. But we'll usually if we're out where a lake is, we'll rent a boat and we'll go out for like half a day or a day on a boat. Molly loves it. Is Greg and, like a motion sickness thing? No, he or? just he just prefers land he's more comfortable like he he can ride dirt bikes and Mm -hmm. stuff and 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 crazy things with wheels all day long but he doesn't like the water Mm. uh like me i'm the opposite i love the water but like the wheel stuff is i'm not as comfortable um but my wife she'll be out there with a towel over her (laughs) arms and her and her (laughs) shoulders over her legs like she's completely covered up and then she'll leave me cold out in the the (laughs) it does feel it does feel like different type of cold when you're out there with the the breeze i do love it though like i grew up going to the great lakes with my grandpa and my dad Mm. and dad knows everything about boats still yeah i'm the only man who didn't learn boating <laughs> okay kind of unfortunate still time i mean we, me have, and a, we, my have, brother. A, we have a great lake here oh true you could learn how to sail they have sailing clubs and you can uh, take less expensive maybe uh, there's things you that you say. know that your grandfather oh, sure. doesn't know yeah, like about his feelings. <laughs> I know how to share my feelings. Oh yeah, no. I, that was one thing. I that was one thing my my dad I think did tell me even was that he's like, yeah, like I never really had those these kinds of conversations with my dad. No, like, oh, I know. Like the conversations I've had with my daughter are conversations I would have never had with my parents. Would you have had them with a son? Do you think? Oh, uh, no. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You good? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it's not probably how it's not. supposed to be. Well, I don't know. To Maybe. some degree, you need to have open communication and let your kids feel like they can talk to oh, you. Oh, no, they no, absolutely. But like Even if it is about feelings. Yeah. The son just might not have had the feelings. <laughs> right. Though. Like I don't remember being a feelings type of person right. and I'm I 
you know, not to classify theatrical people as people that do experience feelings stronger than other people. Well, there's I something to that. I think they do. Yeah. And I remember doing two years of theater in high school and like realizing it. And whenever I got out, I was like, okay, this is a much better place to be. Away yeah. From. The people there. In, in my world, I, I think some people no, have a great true. time. No, they're but. not only, uh, they're filled with drama while they're doing mm. drama. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's inspirational. <laughs> I think that, I think that I'm learning a, a kind of a sad thing about my daughter, though. She, uh, is wired like me in so many ways and kind of like Betty. Betty's wired like her dad in a lot of yeah. ways too. And Haley's the same way. And just like Betty, she doesn't like to admit it. <laughs> uh, but like she, um, I want nothing more than to have a super close relationship with my daughter. And, and we, as far as father and daughter go, it's really close, but she's wired like me. And that when she's good, she can go and doesn't feel the need to talk, you know, or, or, or need help or, or text or whatever. And I'm, I was wired the same way. Like I would go months without talking to my dad probably. And then when we talk, it was, you know, pick right up, no problems. Mm -hmm. Um, but she's not wired like that. I, or she's wired like me. And that's like, that hurts my wife because mm -hmm. my wife wants to talk to her every day, you know? Oh. And yeah. And, and that's just not happening. Has she told Haley that? Uh, I've told Haley for her, you know, kind of cause she doesn't want to burden her. And I, so I've tried to be that go between is like, look, when you're, you know, I know when you're good, you're starting, you're doing your life and that's great, but don't leave your mom out of it. You know, cause mm -hmm. your mom loves you more than life. How you know? long will she go without calling her? mom uh i mean it can, it can they usually text mm. like i uh like but f actual phone call or facetime could be uh, you know two weeks or something mm. but mm. then they'll text back and forth mm -hmm. most days or like every other day kind of thing um but yeah she just and, and Haley will go off off like the reservation and, and drop out for a day or two and you're like look you're a millennial I know you have your phone with you and I know you're seeing texts mm. that drives me crazy mm. like you know like that sends me like over the edge because she's choosing to ignore it. exactly mm. exactly that, that or maybe she's me. just waiting for a better opportunity to respond in a better way well yeah I mean but, but she yeah it's it, yeah she, well, you, yeah, 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 yeah. It's frustrating. <laughs> oh, it bothers me. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like when you text somebody, if you've been texting somebody, and then you have like one more thing, and you're like, okay, just respond to that, and we're done, or whatever. But then they don't. That drives me crazy. I actually did not get in the shower the other day because I had texted somebody something, and we had been in a text stream, and so I texted them one other thing, like a question or something, or something that we were trying to to set up, and so I didn't get in the shower because I would be frustrated if you know I texted somebody something back and then they didn't respond. And so I just sat there and waited and I waited and I waited and I'm like, well, how long do I wait before I get in the shower before like this information? I waited 20 minutes. I've never done that. I mean, how long of a shower do you take? I take a long shower. Oh, uh, so that sounds like a you problem. No, it's not a me problem. <laughs> yeah, huh? No, it's not. Because I don't take long showers, so I feel like I'll just get back to it when I get out. Oh, I could. It, it, I Easy 20 minutes. Easy 20 minutes showers. What are you doing? I, that's my time, man. Like, that's where I'm like alone. I think I work. I think of stuff for the show. I obsess over things. Like, mm. I, if I ever have to create things, like, I think in the shower really well. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm super focused or something. I don't have all these other things like throwing me off. But yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Good for you. Oh, yeah. I get, I, it's 20 minutes easy. I'll go, I'll, sometimes I'll stay till the water runs out. <gasps> like, that's the cold terrible. water, it gets hot. Yeah. Isn't your daughter the same way? Yeah. Yeah, maybe wow. she's in the shower. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. That's why she's not taking it back. Yeah, she, I'm mean, again. She's wired so much like me. Uh, it's not even funny. I realized um, the other day, my mom and dad they went to go see the Elvis movie, mm -hmm. and um, just hearing like, I mean, I love talking to my parents. They crack me up. Um, my dad really cracks me up. Oh yeah, he's but funny. Just seeing how other dads are, I didn't realize till later in life. How much he's he is way more animated, and I can see where I get my personality from mm -hmm. him because he's great at telling stories, mm -hmm. um, and he's great at knowing when to say the the funny thing at the right time, right. kind of thing. And we both have the same sense of humor, so it's just 
funny to see those things. <laughs> I, I went and saw the Elvis movie as well, mm-hmm. and I thought it was pretty good. I, like you were telling me more about his life that I didn't know because you're like a huge Elvis fan, and like that Priscilla, they made her look great. And I wonder, like, because she signed off on the movie, I was like, it's great, we love it. Well, yeah, she looked like the victim mm-hmm. and uh, came off great, but you said like she had infidelity and stuff too. Yeah, and they I'm, didn't bring up any of that. Oh no, oh of course not. No, of course not, because they don't want to put her. Well, she doesn't want to put herself in a bad right. light. But yeah, she made herself look like she's the one that really looked out for Elvis yeah. and that she wanted what was best for him. But, but is that true yeah, right. if you're cheating on him? Right. Well, we're did, not going to talk about that. Did, did Lisa Marie, was she the one that married Michael Jackson for yes. a time? Oh, wow. That was, I've, I've even, that seems like a lifetime ago. I know. Like bizarre. Yeah. Like that, that whole thing. And have you seen her? No, not recently. Lisa Marie? No. When she was younger, she looked a lot like Elvis. Did she? Yeah. It, I thought it was interesting. Um, that we were in a room full of people watching this movie and all of them, you know, could have seen Elvis live. Like it was, everyone was so old in this theater. Uh, yeah. And, and there was one lady that kept talking out loud. She was like an old lady. And when things would happen, she'd be like, nah, uh, <laughs> nope. Like, like things that like maybe she didn't agree with in the movie. And she's like, that's not true. Like it was so funny. That is funny. I, old people are the best. Yeah. They lose their filter. We, uh, we have friends that uh, Molly and Greg that they would take their daughter to dancing competitions. She was she's now still a professional dancer, but like um, she grew up dancing, and so they would bring uh, Juju, their uh, her grandmother, their uh, Molly's mom. And they would bring Juju, and Juju has zero filter, and like she, and she's loud. Like she would go, "That girl's really not good." <laughs> you know, oh. and you're like, oh my goodness, that's awesome. Stop. Yeah, I got, and I got to go to a competition with her one time. I'm like, oh my gosh, Juju, what in the world? But it was great. Like I, I love her because she has no filter. Mm-hmm. I was with uh, my friends, and their uh, five year old also apparently doesn't have a filter as a kid. <laughs> uh, we're walking by the outside of this restaurant, and there's this guy coming up, and he's walking. Right Right near us, and he's smoking a cigarette. And this little five year old buries into me and goes, There's a smoker. Everyone hold your breath. There's a smoker. <laughs> and like, she doesn't say it quietly. She does. I mean, she says, There's a smoker. And I'm just looking at the guy. I'm like, ah. It's not even. It's not even my kid. <laughs> like you know, and but but that's how no filter. Does it make you wonder what you're going to be like in maybe 10, 20 years? Oh, when I, you already everything gets on your nerves already. Yes, yes. And if you already live by the rule of, I mean, it's the truth, right? I Ooh. might have to move like <laughs> to a place where no people are right. ten years from now, or cut out your tongue. I something, yeah, <laughs> because there's no way I will have the wherewithal to not say things like right now I'm still filtering and editing myself Mm -hmm. it's you know um, but there's no way I will possess that long term. If the world keeps going the way that it is yeah yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. Absolutely I will. It's so funny I actually thought about like the other yesterday I was so frustrated by the politics of everything and I started thinking maybe I'll run for politics like run run for a a political office. Yes yes because I'm a conservative, but I'm actually what would be more of a moderate conservative. And I think that there needs a little bit of that in this world right now. You are. But I don't you, know where to start. You like should I, not be in the world president. of politics uh, yeah, ever. I should. No. Uh, yeah. That is a bad idea. I think it's a great idea. You're uh, right. No. Uh, are you hearing me say no? Would you vote for me? <laughs> You will not get my vote. Come no. on. I no. would be so good at it. I would rather vote for like a broom Why? or something. Why? I no. would be good at We have the same <laughs> values. I'm just, I would yeah, speak but for you. Would, you. Any little ounce of power you get, yes. you will take to the full extent. Absolutely, I will. And that's why I, will I use say, it. no, you I will, will use not it, get my but vote. But I will use it for good. Because you remember will me, you? Wally, amateur superhero slash first responder? Uh, I'm there for people. I know. But then I didn't know what to run for. Like, I don't want to run for like some lame county thing, you know? <laughs> and plus, I'm actually going to have to go fight the city uh, here to get my variants for my deck. Uh, so <laughs> that's going to give me a little foray into politics. Maybe I'll run for that guy's job that's not approving my permit. Uh, and just oust him first and start with that. And then from there, I'm going to have to work through a city council or town council, but I'd I'd rather not. I'd rather just start at House of Representatives or Senate. I think that's what I'm going to start with. Does it even matter what I say? No. Okay. Because I know I have your vote. <laughs> uh, Lady Rock, what do you got? I, I just I just have some other maddening things. And I don't feel like being mad today on Friday with All California right. and their health care. That's great. Uh, they are uh, offering health care to uh, 
illegal immigrants now. So good job. All right. Enjoy that, California. <laughs> Everyone that uh, pays their taxes, guess who's paying for that? You are. Well, and we just read to yesterday that they were getting um, a check. 73. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. California. California. Yeah. Inflation. Inflation checks. Checks. That were over $1,000. I'd take one of those. Yeah. But again, again, man, it is, it's the, it's the Democratic governor in California, and they're trying to just get everyone to the government is your hero. The government is your savior. And then they just want to maintain their power. They can't pay for this. California was broke years ago. You know, like it, it, it's, it's okay. I don't want to get mad. So okay. we're going to stop. All right. Let's Next. move on. Uh, another situation. Though um, Tim Allen, he was asked no, about no. his um, his look at the Lightyear controversy. Yes. So the new Lightyear movie put out by Disney has a kiss in it by two women, right. and so a lot of parents are understandably upset about that. Upset about it, and so Tim Allen is the original voice of. Um, Buzz Lightyear, and but he's not involved in this new movie at all. They actually got a new voice and everything because mm-hmm. it's a prequel. It's like a the way yeah. they handled like it, how I guess, he got to be where he was. Buzz Lightyear, and there was a toy, so he was the voice of the toy, but but it was based on a real character, right? So that's why they did the two different voices, right? So Tim Allen was asked about the controversy and his thoughts on it. To me, he kind of danced around it. See what you sure. think. This is a whole new team that really have nothing to do with the first movies. There's really no Toy Story buzz without Woody. It's a wonderful story. It doesn't seem to have any connection to the toy. It seemed, It's just no connection. I wish there was a better connection. I think he'd be happier about it if he has to be in it. <laughs> like Maybe. That's what it sounds like to me. But it sounds like he is saying he really can't have the correct thoughts to share on the situation because he was never involved in the first place. Well, the problem with this is, too, though, it's like when you ask him that, he then has to make a statement. And when you make the statement, if you, in Hollywood especially, if you say anything that even remotely smells or has the scent of not celebrating LGBTQ, uh, not even just like supporting it, but like celebrating Celebrating it, heralding it, loving every part of it, wanting to be a part of it yourself, like then you're in the wrong and you're a bigot and you're a hate monger mm-hmm. and, and they blacklist you and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he definitely has to sidestep that for sure. I'm still, I mean, I've been writing a post for a while about what Disney could learn from Dolly from, from my trip to Dollywood. Oh, that's right. And, and I, I, I wrote a big chunk of it yesterday and I kind of am at the point where I'm going to start addressing the Buzz Lightyear thing. For from my perspective, but then as I sit there and I'm writing it, I'm like, okay, what's my purpose of writing this? You know, like, what am I, what am I going to try to accomplish through this? That's not going to be seen as just anti-LGBTQ because that's not my intent. That's not my point. My point is more about Disney becoming a company that has traded in certain values and elevated other values over uh, what was considered traditional family values. They've put more of importance on LGBTQ, and how does that play out? For for people who aren't fans of that. Doesn't mean they hate the people, but they're not fans of that mm-hmm. lifestyle. And what does that do with conversations with your kid and stuff? And there's just not a great way to write this in the sense that people will come at me. And I'm not I don't fear that, but then I'm like, does it solve anything? Does it help anything? Does it or does it just divide further? Mm-hmm. Like and I so see. that's yeah. my that's what I'm wrestling through. Because yeah. you know I've been like thinking about this for a while. And and because my my point of it, like other than just sharing my opinion, because I can share my opinion all day. I can do it here. Um, But it's like, it's just another opinion in the world. And does it matter? And does Mm -hmm. it, or is there a point where you have to say something because no one else says anything? Mm -hmm. And then you are that dissenting voice that actually makes people think or challenges people to think differently. So I don't, I'm not sure. And yeah. so, and who knows, man, like our uh, company might shoot it down anyway. Yeah. Who knows? Cause that's when I actually will, it's such a hot button and we've, we've, I've danced in this pool before and I could see, uh, like the company going, yeah, we just don't want to talk about this. So mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still working on it. Yeah. But anywho. Would you like to go to birthdays? I would. Let's do it. <laughs> no, we're good. That wasn't bad. Go. No. All right. Uh, we've got one. Claire said, hey, guys, yeah. Huntsville, um, old OD. You remember oh, Claire. Oh, Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's so, so sweet. Uh, John and Lori, her mom and dad, yeah. they share a birthday, which is pretty good. Crazy. That is bizarre. Yeah. Um, she said, my parents have nicknames for us kids, but what's a nickname you always wanted, but it never stuck? Oh, I, I remember one episode of 
Oh, some little show my daughter watched, and the kid, he was trying to nickname himself, and he's like, <laughs> uh, Wheels, I want to be nicknamed Wheels, and he's like running around, he's like, hey, Wheels, you know, he's trying to nickname himself, because you mm-hmm. cannot nickname yourself. No, you can't. Other people have to nickname you. I do, though, know of a girl, I, I used to be friends with this girl, that she decided when she was going to college, that she was going to start going by her middle name instead of her first name, okay. kind of as a, like a start over sure. in life kind sure. of thing. I don't know if that's the same as a nickname situation, yeah. but it was interesting. Yeah. And then Betty mm-hmm. Rock is, obviously Rock is not your name. Uh, no. But you were but given But that's pretty that. much what everybody knows. Oh yeah. Everyone call. I mean, b- b- basically people either call you Betty Rock or they just call you Rock. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, which is better than Stump. That was my other one was Betty Stump. <laughs> Because I, I nicknamed Betty all those years ago. Like when 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 I first met her, she had even more of a drawl. Uh, and and I was trying to do this rock type show here, and, and I'm like, uh, Betty Lou is not going to work. We need something that's just more flashy for you. How about Betty Rock? And it and we and we kind of said it tongue in cheek, and then it just stuck. Yeah, you know. And then, and then even Ka- Gavin, Gavin's not even his real name. Yeah, no. good point. But I, I don't even see you as Caleb. No, like I don't yeah. even have you saved in my phone. As Caleb. No, and if no. someone said Caleb, I'd be like, who are you referring to? That would get too to? messy. I called him yesterday and I went to his voicemail and he's like, hey, this is Caleb. I'm okay, like, my voicemail works. Okay. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I've yeah. actually, like, I had tried <laughs> to yeah. set that up and then I never had someone test it. Oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm glad it works. It does. But I had to think about that too because I really don't get calls from mm. a ton of people. Right. So I thought about doing a version that was like, hey, this is Caleb or Gavin if you're right. calling. Mine Boy. used to mine used mine always has my professional stuff on it. And I used to actually have a thing that says, if uh, you leave a recording here, just know it can be used on the air. Because I used to I used to like <laughs> you people had that for forever. That's I so did. Funny. I did, yeah. And then finally I'm like, uh, I, I just stopped and if I want to play it, I'll play it anyway. And if I get sued, I get sued. <laughs> It's like, I don't care. Yeah, it's just that's awesome. I just wanted a shorter uh, voicemail. Like some people, like uh, Steve, you know, Steve that works here, who actually oh. just became our new boss. Yeah, his voicemail. His though. voicemails are so long. He's I'd rather guy. just hang up. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. Yeah. Like, And I love this guy. I love that. This guy is truthfully one of the kindest people and like the help you out at a drop of mm-hmm. a hat, guys. Not a bad thing to say about him, but uh, he has the longest voicemails. He did the what? Like he got in into it in a world yeah. where one man <laughs> yeah, can't like, get uh, to his phone. That's so funny. That's <laughs> five awesome. minutes later, it you're really, like, oh, leave a tone at the beep, beep. It was. Yeah, it's like just we all know how voicemails work by this point. Just <laughs> hey, wait for the beep. There you go. Yeah, that was rough. Oh, uh, well, hey, I forgot. We can play. We can play. I forgot. We planned. I feel like we didn't have oh. like a big gap there. That's okay. Where... I feel like he's on his last leg. That's a little scary. We can plant. We can plant. Everyone's got a weekend plant. Okay. Um, you want to go first? Sure. Yeah. So today, Stranger Things Part Two has been released. Oh, Gavin it is. was telling me, right? Yeah. Gavin was telling me that there's two episodes, but together they combined four hours, which well, is ridiculous. Be what awesome. Betty's doing today. Are you? I don't think we're going to do both because I have to wait and watch it with my roommate uh-huh. because we're both in it together. Yeah. So we may watch one. Okay. Um, but then um, who knows what we'll do tonight. But then tomorrow I have the whole day to myself <sighs> and I am so excited about it. <laughs> um, and then Sunday I have to do... Um, Nursery, nursery at my church, and I might go oh. and see my mom and dad. Oh, nice. And then um, Monday is on July a Fourth. I'm going on a boat <laughs> on a pontoon <laughs> with some friends of mine, which will be so much fun. And then Tuesday, I took the day off. I know. Look at you, oh. nice. That's a four dayer. Oh, I'm so excited. I just put in my time for August, and I'm looking forward to that. I don't have any breaks until then, uh, mm. except for this one. It'll uh, be extra toasty. I will. Yeah, I'll be crispy by then. <laughs> uh, so uh, there you go. Gavin. Um, so today, yes, we are going to watch both Stranger Things episodes. And happily. It's going to be awesome. not feel guilty at all. No. <laughs> We're going to have two of our friends over who also love the show. Okay. We've got a Stranger Things themed menu nice. for Did the Did you night? get the Stranger Things pizza from uh, Walmart? Do you know they No. Have is that? that a thing? Yeah. There's, oh. a, there's a pizza at Walmart. I guess, I I've, I literally have only seen three episodes. Huh. But like, I guess there's some pizza uh, uh, delivery oh. thing that's in there oh. or something. I might and, have to go look at that because we... 
came up with the menu via like Pinterest. Yeah. We have something that's on the menu that is pizza. And Haley, she loves using croissants for things. So she's uh-huh. going to make a croissant pizza that looks oh. like one of the animals. We're doing a chicken and waffles, but we're going to use Eggo waffles because those are primary to okay. that's good the idea. original part of the show. That's a good idea. So that'll be today. Dropping Haley off at the airport that she will hopefully be able to fly back to Louisiana to see some family and then hang out. When did she come back? She's come back on Tuesday with her dad. Originally, she was going to come back with her dad, her mom, and our niece. To move her stuff out? No. (laughs) Okay. That's what it sounds like. No. (laughs) She's coming back with her dad and we need to talk. That would be bad. But just to hang out with them for a week. What Um, did we used to call it when she was out all the time? Gap week. Yeah. So I get a gap weekend this week. Nice. I used to really... Enjoy those, yeah, um, and not from like the you know my yeah. life's gone, but like I still like I enjoy my private time. Sure, but I am a little bit more nervous about this one because I do have both dogs that mm. I will be. Oh, oh yeah, dogs. she got a gap week from the dogs yeah. too. I get oh, to man. dog sit both of my nice. dogs, and Jasper's just been on a tear lately, and uh, I'm not looking forward to dealing with him yeah. a ton. So, but I mean, I, he's still great. I complain about the five percent that is bad. Sure, so but it's a lot. It's a lot. That's my weekend. <laughs> I have friends coming in, and we're mixing friends tonight. We're we're taking Ooh, that's iffy. That's interesting. I know we're taking Scary. old friends that we've had for twenty years and adding Molly and Greg to the mix. Uh-oh. And uh, our old friends, like we have a <sighs> Jeremy and I are extremely uh like cutting on each other like just zero respect uh and, but it's funny like and, and, and we both like just kind of rip on each other the whole time so it'll be interesting that dynamic because like Greg and I don't do that you know and mm-hmm. so it's two very different dynamics would you say that was it Jeremy yeah Jeremy was your best bud before Greg? Yeah, Jeremy worked with me at Radio Disney actually, and that's how we met him. And then Hillary uh-huh. watched Haley for years and like mm-hmm. uh then but then we just I mean we became friends and we'd been friends for a long time, yeah, for years. Um but like I do more stuff with with Greg, like on the weekly basis, you know, um, but it is it is interesting mixing so those tender. friends. Like Marty didn't want to mix them. Marty was like, I don't blame her. I but I'm like, yeah. it's hard when you blend. Normally, friends. I, I don't. don't typically like it. I usually don't either. And but yeah. this one, I'm like, I love both of these sets of people. They're both real. They're all really fun and outgoing. Mm-hmm. So like. It's not a problem. You could put, you could plop Molly and Greg down in any situation, and they'll be friends with everybody. Like right. that, they're they're super easy. Mm-hmm. But Marty was I, I was like like she was questioning me about it, and I'm like, what? Is, I don't understand the big deal. Like what? Uh, why are you so hesitant about this? And she's just like, I I don't know. I don't know. I get it. I'm, yeah. I mean, I, I do understand it, but I'm like, it's it's fine. Just invite them over. So what's Sasha gonna do? Sasha? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? What does she do when all the people come over? Oh, she she uh, hides. Bless. It's too much. It's too much for her. Bless her sweet yeah, so we're doing Skedetti tonight. Then we got to find things. Skedetti. Skedetti. That's what Haley always Skidetti. called it. Skedetti. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I miss her. Uh, and then we have uh, what you would call it. Uh, just our friends. We got to find things to do with them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. I, it really is. Uh, and so I, I think I, it's supposed to storm. I know rain. that's another thing too. So we have a couple of things, but they're here all the way through Monday. So. I'm not going to get any of my projects done. Oh, yeah. And rough. I, and I took a hit last night. Uh, my wife had texted me, "Hey, do you want to go to the movies with me at 3:15?" And I'm like, "Sure, that'd be great." And but you uh, didn't really want to. No, because I I told her this week, I said, I want to play pickleball on Thursday night. I've been really looking forward to it. I haven't played in a few weeks, and I really love Mm -hmm. it. But I didn't even bring it up when she said, because I think she just forgot. And so I didn't even bring it up yesterday at all. Why? Uh, Because she wanted to go spend time together, and so I, I did. Oh, but you didn't want to spend time with her. No, I did. No, I, I do. I, I would. Uh, yeah. And he had the one thing that <laughs> yeah. he. It's the one thing I wanted, wanted to do. You know what y'all should have is a calendar, and you write out your schedules. It's a good idea. So that she won't forget. That's a good idea. Yeah. It would or, be helpful. What's more fearful is that she didn't forget. And she, and just, she just abused the yeah, fact that the, you yeah. will not do or say. Because there's anything. a difference between, hey, do you want to go see a movie today? And I go, no, I'm going to go play pickleball. But when she says, "Hey, you do you want to go? Do you want to go see a movie with me today?" 
Mm. then it's more like, okay, this is time together. This is a mm. together time thing. Oh. And so there's that subtle difference. It's like one word can change everything. Well, maybe you could talk your friends into playing pickleball. Ooh. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they play or if they're any good. Well, they may not know. Just they ask. may just need to try. Yeah. But this is like a thing where, uh, you know, you, you don't got, want to share it. No, you got to actually like be able to play a little bit. Like you can't just walk out of there after never playing. Before. Yeah. Huh? No. Yeah. Huh? No, it's not in this league. No. Oh, oh, it's a league. Yeah. 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 Why it's can't like, you and your family just play? Uh, I mean, we, we <laughs> might be able to, oh my goodness. it's not the same. Why? Because there's no competition. Right. <sighs> yeah. I, I bought Marty a paddle so we could go play, um, but we just haven't yet. Because mm. the league is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Wow. <laughs> okay. Then Sunday church, oh, Monday hot dogs, whatever. And then that's going to be it. So <laughs> Whatever. All right. That's going to do it for you. As always, thanks for being a potty. 